Hey everybody, Sherry with Tinkerbell, and together you and I are making your home a sanctuary. I'm hopping on tonight to show y'all a really super easy craft that anybody can do. Um, you saw me teasing you with pictures of it here on Facebook earlier today, and um, <laughs> I wanted to come on and show you what it looked like finished. So I'm gonna show you how to make those cute little stack books I posted a picture of two or three weeks ago and everybody commented that they loved them. They're a little bit rustic, they were wrapped with some twine. I'm gonna put my own spin on them for everybody. So the first thing that I did was um, went to Dollar Tree and got a bunch of paperback books. Um, I tried it a couple of different ways and the first way that I tried it, I actually cut the, um, my brain's not working. I cut the cover off and then I tried to spray paint the pages because my thought was it would be really nice if some of the type showed through and it looked like an old book. Well, that was an epic fail because can you see the texture on the spine of that book? The paper itself did not like the spray paint and I had a really nasty reaction to it. So all of these books will end up going for some other project. Don't know what it is, but it will be another project. Am I live, babe? Can you see that I'm live? So I got another stack of paperback books. This time I left the covers on and I spray painted the covers. Um, spray paint works a whole lot easier than, um, than acrylic paint or temper paint and it goes a lot faster. The one thing that I do want to tell you is that you got to do it evenly otherwise you end up with a whole bunch of texture which is not necessarily a bad thing if that's what you're going for. So I don't know if you can see, you can see a little bit on the binding that there's some texture to that one but it did work much better to leave the cover on it and then spray paint it that way. A couple of other tips for y'all. Um, make sure that at least one of the books that you get has a smooth cover because again, yeah, you can see it. Can you see the embossing on the um, title of that book? So make sure that the books are not embossed. Make sure that they are just nice and smooth. So what I did after that was I hot glued the front page to the cover just to give the cover a little bit more substance. And then, when we, then I hot glued the books to each other, again, just to keep them from moving all around. So I'm gonna hot glue the book with all the embossing that we don't want to show. I'm gonna hot glue that one to this one. And then you end up with a nice little stack of books. Um, it's really critical if you want them to look like they're supposed to, that when you're in Dollar Tree, you find three books that are about the same thickness and about the same height so that when you stack them up, they make a nice little wood block. Does that make sense? Um, you don't want one sticking clear out and a skinny one. Then also from Dollar Tree, I got packages of alphabet letters. Now, I do have good handwriting, so I could handwrite these, but not everybody does. So I wanted to show you in the teacher supply section of Dollar Tree, they have all different colors of stickers. There's 370 stickers in this package and it was a dollar because it's a Dollar Tree, right? Um, I got some red ones and I got some black ones. So before we begin, I want to just pause for a second and tell you all a couple of things. First, if you would hit that little button on the bottom left hand side that starts with SH, and ends with A-R-E. Facebook is getting really picky about us asking to, you guys to actually do that. 
Um, so if you like what you see, you think that your friends would enjoy these videos, go ahead and hit that button. And then in the comments, just comment, I did it so that I know that um, we are live other places. All right. Um, then also from my craft stash, because y'all know that I have craft crap everywhere in the house. I grabbed some greenery, I have some fern, no idea what this is, but I have some other greenery. This I actually got in Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. Now, if you're like, well, great, Sherry, that does not do me any good because I can't get it. You want to make a vet? Hobby Lobby's got their Christmas stuff out already. And it doesn't have to be this exact, but y'all don't go to the floral section. Go to the um, seasonal section where they have all of the picks for making wreaths. These were 99 cents, and then I got them on clearance. But Hobby Lobby's cadence is that every other week they've got half of their store um, for 50% off. So just keep your eye on it and they'll go on sale at least for 50% off. So 50% off like $1.99. You can't beat that, right? These were actually in my stash, but not everybody has five closets full of craft crap. And then I had some other little picks and some other things. I've got twine. I've got burlap ribbon. And I've got red and white sparkly ribbon. Again, all of this is in my stash, but you can find all of these supplies at Dollar Tree. Literally, you can find everything at Dollar Tree. So if you would buy ribbon, and you would buy the stickers, and you would buy the books, and you would buy some greenery, you wouldn't spend $10 on this project. So, um, these were my epic fails, right? These were my epic fails, lesson learned. Then the other stack of books that I got looks completely different. I found some hardcover books at another Dollar Tree and I'm gonna try two different looks. These I covered with silver wrapping paper and I did that old fashioned, you know, old school, borrow a book from school at the beginning of the year and you have to cover it with a garbage or with a um, grocery sack. That's all I did with these, I just covered them with silver paper. Now, if you notice, you can see that the spines and some of the binding shows on the books. That's okay, because by the time we put them on a shelf, we put them on a tray, we put them wherever we want to display them, and we accessorize around them, nobody's gonna be able to see that little bit of binding on it. <coughs> and if it bothers you, paint it. So I glued these shut also, like I did the paperback books, and I'm just putting some hot glue on these. I don't expect it to permanently hold. I really just want it to stay in place until I get it all put together. Make sense? So we're gonna do two different stacks, so we're gonna do two different things. And don't hate me because one of them is gonna be Christmas. All right, so let's get going. Let's see, who do we have on? Hey, Doc, how you doing? I hope everything is great for you. Um, let me see who else. I've got my iPad situated, and it's not showing me the comments. So let me see if I can bring myself up. And if it doesn't work, we'll just move on. Big Daddy's sitting over there, so he can... He can read me the comments. Hey, I miss you too. I miss you too. I miss seeing you at your former place. All right, so we're gonna whip these out. All right, so what are you guys gonna put for sayings on these? You're gonna, you can do whatever you wanna do. You can put your last name and the year that you were married. You can put your family name and the names of your fur babies. You can do just about anything that you wanna do on the binding. Um, I'm just gonna do real basic stuff and I'm gonna show you how to get started with these and then I will um, end the live and I'll finish and then I'll post pictures later. 
So again, if y'all are just jumping on, we are making stacked books, rustic little stacked books from Dollar Tree, paperback books, spray painted, hot glued. We've got stickers, letter stickers from Dollar Tree, and then we've got some ribbons and stuff. So I do have um, a handy dandy little tool that I use with some of my other crafting, and it's got a hook on it so that I can pick up these vinyl stickers and I can set them down. You don't have to have that. You don't have to have that to do this. Um, so let's do, so I'm gonna get one of these off of here. Maybe, I'm gonna try. Um, Big Daddy says my earrings look good. Thanks, honey. I made them, y'all. I made them. Kind of fun. It was a really fun experiment. It was a really fun project. Um, made them from scratch, actually. All right, so I'm gonna set these letters down, but watch, I'm not setting it down very tightly. Is that word? It is in my book. I'm not setting it down super tight. I'm not pressing it down a whole lot because I just wanna make sure that I've got enough room. Um, I have seen these done where if you have rubber stamps and letters in rubber stamps, you can use the rubber stamps also. I've actually got stamps, but I thought that these Dollar Tree stickers look like they would work much better and give us a nicer finish, be a little bit easier than trying to do all those stickers. So, all right. Um, this is the first time I'm using these guys. These are awesome. They really are good stickers. Um, again, they're found in the teacher section of Dollar Tree. Not Dollar General, not everything's a dollar. Um, in the section of Dollar Tree, the green store where literally everything in the store is a dollar. Okay, um, so I've got, I know it's backwards, but I've got live on one binding of one book. And again, I'm not gonna press them down just yet because I wanna get all my letters down and I wanna make sure I like the way that they look before I permanently press them down. Um, also, you guys, when you are doing this, the purpose of this little stack of books is for it to look like it's handmade. It's not supposed to be perfect. So if the bindings are a little bit jagged, if the letters are not aligned perfectly, that's okay. It's supposed to be that way. They're not supposed to be perfect. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this, okay? All right. So we'll add, we're gonna do live, laugh. Oops. I need something to balance these out with. We're gonna do live, laugh, love on this. I know it's a nice basic saying. Um, this one, since laugh is a little bit longer word, I'm gonna start the back end, work my way forward. Gee, so I need an H. All right. And this little pick helps, but if you don't have one, I'll do a couple of, I'll do a couple of letters with that one. I'm trying to spell laugh backwards. This is kind of tough. L-A-U-G, I need a G. Oh, come on, the G is not cooperating. L-A-U, I need a U. All right. Uh, let's see, do we have any comments? No, no comments yet. Everyone just must just be concentrating just like I am. A couple more letters. <coughs> <clears throat> so as you guys are doing this or as you're gathering your supplies remember you can put whatever you want for letters you don't even have to letter every binding you can put something up here and you can leave this one blank and you can put something down here if you want you don't have to fill in everything just because you have that much space all right so I have that one kind of just in place. 
See that? I haven't really stuck anything down yet. I'm just kind of setting the letters out. And then let's do my laughing love on this one. Ooh, that one's a sticky little thing. Again, you guys, I gotta say, this is the first time I've used these Dollar Tree letters. They are really, 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 really awesome. All right, sorry y'all, I'm blind. Hey, welcome from South Carolina. I'm so glad you joined us. I'm so glad this is your first time. So let me catch you up quick because you didn't miss a whole lot at all. We are making those rustic little stack books that I posted pictures of a couple of weeks ago and y'all went crazy for them. I'm showing you how to do this and the majority of supplies that I got are from Dollar Tree. I love Dollar Tree. Next to Hobby Lobby and Home Depot. Dollar Tree is my favorite store to go to. So I got some paperback books. Make sure that they are all the same size and they're all about the same thickness, okay? And I spray painted them white. Don't take the cover off. I tried to take the cover off of some of them and just spray paint the paper. And that's what I ended up with. Epic fail. So leave the cover on and spray paint them. I am using black letters that I got in the teacher section from Dollar Tree. And then I just have some random greenery and some twine. You can literally get twine and the greenery. You can get everything at Dollar Tree if you want to. Some of this stuff came from my stash because um, since this is your first time joining us, you don't know this yet, but I have... Um, more closets in my house than I care to admit that are full of craft stuff. So I actually just raided my stash, but um, Hobby Lobby and Michael's um, Dollar Tree, <laughs> excuse me, just about <coughs> everybody has these little greenery picks. Um, I have a big bunch of ferns that I actually got from Walmart. $5 from Walmart and it is a huge, it's a bunch of fern leaves about, about like this big around. It was five bucks. So I took a couple of fern leaves from that. So we are just creating um, some really charming little books. Remember guys, the point is for them to look like they're handmade. Point is not for them to look perfect. Point is for them to look like you did it, like you made something. Okay, um, for those of you that are just popping on, there is a little button in your bottom left-hand corner and it starts with S-H and it ends with A-R-E. If you would hit that button, I would be ever so grateful because it helps us get more people watching and helps me teach more people how to do fun stuff like this. Okay, so I got my last letter. All right. And I'm just gonna tack it on here and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so I've got, I know it's backwards for y'all, but I've got live, laugh, love. Okay, hey Christina, love you too girl. Thanks for popping on. All right, so I just got them lightly tacked, right? So now I'm gonna take a look at them and I'm just gonna make sure nothing is really super wonky. That L was kind of a little wonky. Um, that doesn't look too bad. And then I'm just going to tap them down a little bit so I can see um, that H is a little wonky. And if you're not careful, you'll drive yourself crazy trying to get them all straight. They're not going to be straight. They're not going to be straight. Thank you so much for sprinkling the love. Well, I appreciate you. Okay, so I tacked them down. Okay, so we have our letters. Now here comes the other fun part. Um, you wanna make sure that they're down. That they're down pretty good. <coughs> now let's decide what we're gonna put on the top of these. Hi from Oklahoma. Oh, I'm so 
glad your son Fletcher has joined us too. You know, we had lots of kids at home at one point and um, our son loved to do um, crafts just as much as our daughters did. So I tell Fletcher I said hi and thank him very much for joining us. Okay, so now I don't really know what I'm gonna do. So we're gonna figure this out together, okay? Um, we can do twine like this, but I kind of feel like that's just a little bit plain. And if you look on Pinterest, you see that most of them are just tied with twine. There's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want, go ahead and do that. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more. So this is a massive roll of burlap ribbon that I have in my stash. And one day I will just do a live from my house. I'll walk around my house and show you what I have in all of my closets. Because I practically have a craft store in my house. But I think I want to do something a little bit different with this. So let me see if what I want to do is going to work. Um, if you're just joining us, got the books from Dollar Tree, spray painted in white. Got the um, adhesive letters from Dollar Tree. Basically got just about everything either from Dollar Tree or from my craft stash in my craft closet. So I like that a little bit better. So I'm gonna put some burlap ribbon on it. This burlap ribbon is wired burlap ribbon. Um, you can get just small spools of regular burlap ribbon and it would still be awesome. I just have this in my stash, so this is what I'm using. Okay, so let's see. Now, do we want it in a knot or do we want it in a bow? I think I want it in a bow, but I wanna add some twine. How about that? Let's add some twine to this one. because I think what I want to do is I want the twine to hang down in the center and then tie the bow around it. And if that doesn't make sense, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. All right, so before I tie the bow, let's decide what we want for greenery. That's too big. All right, I got my handy dandy industrial wire cutters. These are the best things ever. They're actually probably closer to tin snips than they are wire cutters, but they are um, they are from Home Depot. Big Daddy bought these for me because I was tired of trying to use the regular ones. Look, they latch and they will cut through anything. Thank you, Christina. You know I love me some leopard print. And you missed it earlier. I made these earrings. I had some fun making some jewelry the other night. It was a good time. All right, so this, that's kind of wonky. This sprig of greenery has some funky stuff going on. So let me just unfunkify it. Hmm. Huh. Look at this. Isn't this weird? No, really, seriously, I did. I know, right? I seriously made them. I bought tassels and I got some fleur de lis from New York when I bought that whole stash of bling. And I had some jewelry making stuff on hand that I bought when it was on clearance at Hobby Lobby. And you know, when you drop stuff in your buggy or your basket and you go, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but shoot, it's only a dollar. I'll figure out something to do with it. It's a little jewelry making kit and I put them all together. I know, it was super fun. Okay, so I'm gonna take apart this one and use this one instead. I don't like this part. See how it's kind of funky right there in the center? So I'm gonna take this part off. I'll cut a little bit more off. And then I'm gonna see if I like that. Yeah, I like that. And normally I do stuff off to the side, but I think in this application, I actually like it in the center. 
but I got too much stem. So this is the only challenge with these is that they're not actually a stem cutter. They're a wire cutter. So if the stem gets really fat, you can't, you can't cut it off. Okay. So there's my little sprig of greenery. What do you think? Do we need more? Can you guys see that? So here's my little sprig of greenery. There's my binding. I kind of feel like I want it to lean more towards the binding edge since that's the edge that we're going to display anyway. Okay. <coughs> so let's <coughs> get up the hot glue. And I think we decided this was too big, didn't we? Yeah, but what if I cut it? Just a little bit different texture to it. Just a little bit of uh, visual interest. All right, I'll mess with it, but you get the point, right? So you got some greenery up here tucked into the burlap bow. So let's move over here to the hot glue gun. Put lots of hot glue on it so it doesn't move. And we're gonna glue it down. Sit here for a second, hold it until it dries. And then I'm gonna tie a bow because I want this to be in a bow. I don't, it, I don't want it to just have a knot and some twine. Although again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So I lost my tails. There's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want. These are your books. They're going to be on display in your home. So you do with them whatever you want to do. You can use colored letters. You can use black letters. You can use whatever colored letters you want. Okay. Ooh, that looks nice. All right. Okay. So I am going to cut this little part off because I don't want any little um, fish tails on this bow. I just want it to be a bow. So, there you go. What do y'all think? Dollar Tree letters on the binding. I used some burlap wired ribbon and just a little bit of twine. If you feel like you want more twine, you can go ahead and add more twine to it. It's all about what you want. So here is the rustic ones. Um, and let's see, let me add this up in my head. One, two, three, four. If you buy the twine from Dollar Tree, that's five. If you buy some greenery sprigs from Dollar Tree, that would be six or seven dollars. And then a little bit of burlap ribbon from Dollar Tree, that would be eight dollars. If you don't find the um, greenery that you like at Dollar Tree and you go to Hobby Lobby, this will cost you a maximum of $10 to do this little project. Now, what do you do with these? You put these anywhere. You can put these um, <coughs> on a tray in your kitchen. You can put them on a dresser and set maybe, um, what I put on them? Maybe like a little um, vintage jar on top of them. You can, um, put them really just about anywhere. It's just a cute little accessory to add a pop of texture and greenery. So these are the white ones. I'm going to show you the, um, the silver ones quick because it's the same thing. So these are hardcover books that I got from Dollar Tree also. And I just covered them in silver wrapping paper because, um, it's almost July, and that means it's almost Christmas in July, and that means it's almost Christmas. So if y'all are just joining me here on Tinkerbell, um, I want you to brace yourselves. I love Christmas, I love all things Christmas. We go all out for Christmas at our house, and um, if I was allowed to, I would have my Christmas trees up all year, but Big Daddy you know, says that I'd probably be committed if I had my trees up all year. So I start putting my trees up on November 1st, because as soon as, Halloween is over, that means it's a holiday season and it's time for Christmas trees. So, 
I'm gonna do these at Christmas. A um, couple of things that I pointed out, you can still see the color of the binding. That's okay, we don't care about that because we're gonna make it look really cute and we're gonna put it in the middle of some Christmas decorations or some uh, greenery around it during the holidays. We're gonna do something like that with it anyway. So it doesn't matter that we can see those bindings a little bit, okay? So for this one, I have red letters. Dollar Tree, teacher section, 370 for a dollar. Guys, you can't get them that inexpensively at Hobby Lobby, even if they're half price. You can't get 370 letters for the equivalent of a dollar. So it's pretty awesome, right? So I'm just going to start these. Um, do you guys have any questions on how I did this? I'm looking, I'm scrolling through the comments. If you've got some questions, let me know if you have some questions. <coughs> Excuse me. I would be more than happy to answer them. Oh, the other thing that I did is I hot glued them together so they didn't slip and slide all over. So they stayed tied together while I was working with them. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing. What's for dinner? Really? 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 Okay, first of all, you know what's for dinner because you cooked it. And second of all, you know you don't want me cooking anything. Big Daddy's just sitting over there in the chair, y'all. So I said, if anybody had any questions, let me, let me know. And in the comments, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but in the comments, he just asked what's for dinner. Which is super funny, because in our house, I don't cook. All right. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna do one spine of one of these books and then I'll finish it and I'll post a picture of it later. Um, let's see, what should we do for Christmas? Should we do Holly? Uh, Christmas would be too long. But Holly, what should we do? Let's see. Okay, Jolly, and what else? I mean, I was gonna do Holly Jolly Christmas, but Christmas is far too long. We'll do, I'll figure it out. All right, so I'm gonna work backwards. Here's the trick, guys. Oh, that's a good one. Christina said sleigh bells ring. Yeah, I do wanna do holly jolly, but what, what else would I do? Oh, and then, then um, Doc says merry and bright. You guys are so smart. But now I gotta figure out if I have that many letters. Isn't that pathetic? Um, so let's see. All right, so little tidbit. What did you just say? Need some food, seriously. That is three, you're right, that is three, but it's not Christmassy. It's not Christmassy. So a trick, guys, is to start here with the word and work your way back. I'll show you what I mean. Um, so let's just do Mary and Bright for right now. So I'm gonna do the Y. And you don't wanna tack them down real hard, remember, just kind of just kind of place them on the binding so that you can make sure that they're straight and they're not all over the place. It's kind of hard to spell backwards. I don't need that one yet. Let's see. I need two R's. And I can't seem to grab this R for some reason. Let's see. All right, so we got two R's. And again, I'm just popping them on, right? Not making them be real tight. Just setting them on here to make sure that they line up. Um, again, for those of you popping on, thank you for joining us. There's a little bottom in the, there's a little button in the bottom left hand corner. Um, hit that button and sprinkle the love, would you please? That would be so awesome. I would sure appreciate that. I try to do um, ac activities. Good Lord, what are we five? I try to do crafts that um, that anybody can do. So 
I appreciate if you share that. All right, so let me show you some. So here's what Mary looks like, and it's kind of wonky, right? That's why you don't set it down right away, because I gotta move the E up just a tick. Um, this could make you go crazy if you want everything to be absolutely perfect, but remember we don't want it to be absolutely perfect because we made it. All right, oh, that E is wonky. I know I said you don't want it to be perfect, but you do want it to look halfway decent, right? That E has a mind of its own. I might have to get a different one. Yeah, that does help a little bit. Thanks, babe. He just improved my lighting. If you guys saw a change in the lighting, Big Daddy just improved the lighting. All right. Oh, that's much better. That E just <coughs> didn't want to behave. Okay, so C. And then I'll continue, then I will um, add the rest of the letters to the spine. I've got <coughs> some um, red and white ribbon, glitter, how can you go wrong with glitter? And some more greenery that I'm gonna add, and then I'll post a picture as soon as I'm done. But before I say goodnight, I wanted to um, give you guys another teaser and tell you to make sure that you are paying attention to the page and that you're really following the posts because my team and I are working behind the scenes to launch an exclusive design district community for y'all. Those of you that want more in-depth um, design expertise, you wanna be able to post a picture of a room and ask me what you should do with it, how you should arrange your furniture, what paint color to pick, any of those things. Um, you want more than what you get here on the page. You're like, gosh, I wish I could just type and ask her a question, but the Facebook algorithms and the Facebook rules of a business page won't let me do that. In the exclusive design district community, you will be able to do that. We are working behind the scenes to get a private Facebook group up and organized. Um, my team is redoing the website, so tinkerbell.net will be completely redone in a couple of weeks. And then we're going to launch with a founding partners launch. So you're going to get to help us create what the community looks like. Kind of cool, right? I'm excited about it. You're going to get to help determine what everybody learns. What do we talk about? What do we focus on? Do we do monthly units? Do we do um, one subject for six weeks? What do we do? You guys will be able to help shape and create the whole entire community. And then the membership for you will be at a deeply discounted price as a thank you to me for giving me your input and your expertise. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. As a thank you from me, thank you. Um, as a thank you from me to helping me create this community for everybody. So I know Big Daddy's sitting over there cringing at my at my grammar tonight. It's late, it's been a long day, but y'all get the point, right? We're gonna have a really exclusive community where we're gonna have a lot of fun and do all kinds of crazy things in, in addition to this page. So don't worry, this page is not going away. What, what you see from me is not going away. We're just gonna add another layer to those of you who want more, who want more interaction, who want more DIY, who want more of the things that you already see here. So thank y'all for joining me in making these books. I'm gonna finish these Christmas ones and then I'll post a picture on my page later. If you guys want more information on the design district, comment with your um, email address in the comments. If you're not comfortable doing that, I totally understand. Send me a private message and I'll give you more information. You guys have a great night. If you make these, message me a picture so I can post it. I'll talk to everybody later. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you and may his face shine upon you and y'all have a wonderful night. Bye. Thank you.